Hi all and welcome to this video financial modelling blog tutorial. Today we're going to look at the valuation of a brownfield infrastructure asset. In particular we're going to look at an equity valuation. If you haven't already done so it might be worthwhile going to the blog and reading the blog on this particular topic. Uh, you can find it at www.videofinancialmodeling.com slash blog. Okay, so I might give you a quick overview as to why we would want to value a brownfield infrastructure asset. There are a number of reasons why we'd want to. Um, two that come to mind include internal purposes. So we might want to do a valuation for internal purposes. Maybe we're an infrastructure fund and we want to work out our performance management fees. Uh, the second reason is because we want to find a value for a sale. Okay, now the question here asks us find the valuation range at 31st December 2012 for the following infrastructure equity investment given a discount rate of 8 to 11 percent. Okay, so we're given a number of dates um, going up in quarters and we're given some net equity cash flows. Okay, so the two things we need for evaluation of this type is the net equity cash flows and the discount rate. Okay, and we're given the net equity cash flows and we're given the discount rate range here. Now the discount rate will be based on the risk profile of the cash flows. Okay, so the riskier the cash flows, the higher the discount rate that will be used and the lower the value, uh, the sale value or the value of the asset at that particular time. Okay, so if we come down here and we go cash flows to discount. Okay, so in the first quarter we're going to say that we want to know it as at the 31st of December 2012. So there's going to be zero cash flows, assuming that these cash flows come in at the end of the quarter, okay? So we're going to put a zero there. We're actually going to put a negative 0.001 so that our MPV works. So I'm going to put that in red. And then we're going to have the net equity cash flows, with, which comprise of shareholder loan interest and shareholder amortization or shareholder loan amortization and dividends and I'm just going to copy these across. Now we've got no equity investment in here because we assume that a brownfield infrastructure asset has been constructed and it's in operations so we don't need to invest any equity. Okay so I've just copied it across that row so control C and then you can go all the way to the end in control V or control R and now we're going to put in the value at a discount rate of and then I'm going to copy those down and we're going to go 8% I'm going to color those blue and put them in percentages that plus one percent and then I'm going to go shift arrow down a few times and control D to copy those down okay so now I've got the discount rate range I've got the cash flows to discount which are the equity cash flows and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an XMPV formula on this okay so equals XMPV now I use an XMPV when we're talking about dates. You can use a simple uh, MPV when you're talking about years. Um, I prefer an XMPV because regardless of what the dates are, uh, whether it's quarterly or monthly, etc., etc., you're going to get the right right answer. So now we're going to grab the rate. So I'm going to go F4, F4, F4 to column lock it. I'm going to go comma and I'm going to go up arrow arrow up uh, control shift and arrow across 
Then I'm going to push F4 to lock both the column and the row. And then I'm going to get the dates and I'm going to go control shift arrow across and F4 close bracket. Okay. Now that's the value. And if we copy that formula down, it should work. So let's just check that. Still picking up the dates and the values, and it's now picking up the discount rate. And that should all work. Now, as we said before, the higher the discount rate, which implies a riskier set of cash flows, the lower the value we're going to get here. Okay? And the interesting thing is the lower the discount rate, the higher the gap here. So if we look here, so there's 8.3 million there. If you go down 7.2 and 6.35, and that's just a reflection of the MPV function where it's an exponential light curve. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to um, comment on YouTube or comment on our blog. Thanks for listening. We look forward to seeing you next time.